My name is Billy Maddox and I'm actually going to do something a little different today. Today we're going to cover sort of the book binding basics. This is going to be a series of videos. I don't know, maybe two or three or four, we'll see how it goes. Down here you're going to see an absolute mess. What is going on? Well, this is a number of books that I've made that have been strewn about my house. The first thing I wanted to talk about was papers. Now, remember, you're creating something out of nothing. This is what this whole thing is about. You can use any kind of papers that you want. You can use graph papers, white papers, lined papers, thick, thin, translucent, certain plastics. You can use whatever you want. You can also use a number of things for your covers. This is a, a, literally a brown paper bag that I've used as a cover for a book. This was some sort of a pamphlet kind of thing. This was a shopping bag that I used as a cover. I just cut it up. This was just a regular um, folder. Epson prints. This is just all photographs that I used as not only the pages but the cover. This is what book board looks like. There's just a number of different things that you could do and it is all entirely up to you. Wait, you know what? Before I do that, I have to cover the components of a book. I'm gonna use this one as an example. Obviously, paper. When you fold these over, this is called a signature. In a stitched book, you will have multiple signatures and you can tell by there. This being a one signature book, as you see, this is just one bundle of pages folded. This is a multiple signature book. When you've got your signatures all together, something like this, this is a book without a cover, um, your entire thing without a cover is called a text block or a block. So you have your pages, you have your signatures, pages folded, and you have your block. Then obviously you add a cover. They can be hardcover, soft cover, a cover that's stitched on there, or it could just be all paper. The very first stitch that I wanted to go over or show you is a saddle stitch. It's the easiest one of them all. It is a bunch of pages folded over into one signature and then stapled. Usually it's three and they're stapled together and you see what that looks like on the outside. That is a saddle stitch. Stepping up from that is a pamphlet stitch. It's a simple one signature book, as you see here, and it's a simple stitch. There are three holes, essentially the same kind of configuration as a saddle stitch, and also the same concept, really. You're, you're wanting to sort of bind this in three points. I'm not going to show you how to do it in this, but I'm just going to show you the different types. This is probably my favorite. Sometimes I want to do something with a lot more pages, something like this has multiple signatures, and this is all stitched together in what's called a uh, case bind. Uh, this is a soft cover. Usually a case bind is a hardcover book. Let me show you here. Da -da -da -da. You know, same concept. Um, and they're all bound together in multiple signatures and then glued onto a hard, a hard back uh, book. You can see the stitches there. Um, that's a hardcover book. Those are the three ones that I use mainly. And really, you can get away with these three and make incredible books. It's really, once you know how to make them, it's really all up to you and how elaborate you make them look. The last sort of uh, tip that I will leave you with, when you're starting out and you're making books, make small versions. It's low risk, if you mess up, start over you can usually make a bunch of these without much uh, you know much time spent or much cost and then you and then you keep them because when you learn all of these binds you're gonna forget them so you're gonna want to have like a small version of one so that you can go back and reference it and say wait how, how was it that, that that was made oh yeah I start from here and then I tie it off in the middle whatever that's pretty much it for today I just wanted to do a simple little basic Part one, this will be a, a, a multi-episode series. I just wanted to give you the basics, what things are called, what the options are, and really to stress that this is all about how you want it to look in the end. That's pretty much it. Roll the thing. Do 
do all the YouTube things. Comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you want to see of any of these. If you really want to see one of these pines, um, I'll see if I can do it in a, in a, in a video. Uh, someone has reached out to me and they wanted to see more bookbinding stuff, so thank you for that. I love uh, that back and forth. And uh, here I am trying to do that, so.